going to be just a minute yet. I'm working on a different case. So I want to make sure you're okay. Do you need a bathroom? Do you need a drink? Uh, I'd like Maybe. to call my lawyer if that's okay. My phone's right here. Yep, I'll get that for you in a minute. Okay. Um, who's your lawyer? My mom. Oh, is it? Who's yeah. your mom? Judy Bregman. So we'll get that for you in a minute. Any, you don't need any beverages or anything? All right, I'll get you with you in a minute, okay? Okay.
Sorry about that. We're in there with Todd Gosh. It's taking a while to get through it. So. Let me give it a chance. Hold on. Seth, I don't know if you remember my name or not. It's Jason. This is my, my sergeant. Same name, Jason. Different last name. Seth, I want to talk. I had been, I wasn't in on when you guys were speaking. I'd like to just get some background information just on your marriage, your, all that kind of stuff, if you're doing that. I know earlier you talked to these guys in the car and they advised you of your rights. Just due to the simple fact that we're sitting here in the chair front of the interview room, those same rights still apply. Do you remember those rights? Mm -hmm. you want me to read them to you again? Was the card that they shown to you before the same card as this? I'll stick that in front of you just as a refresher so you have them if you need them. But, um, I'm sorry you're going through this. I told you that earlier. But how long have you and is it Tantiana, right? I, was, I can keep it Tatiana. Tatiana. How long have you guys been married? Uh, I don't know how long we've been married for. Like three years. Um, uh, March 2015, I think. Okay. We've been together um, since September 2011. Okay, and are, are all of your children your guys' children? Okay. Can you tell me about the birth? I mean, like... So, just where was she born? Oh. Why I am very anti-medical industry is because of uh, what happened with her birth. Um, she coughed one time. Uh, and uh, so they said that they had to keep her under observation for 72 hours to make sure she didn't have a breathing problem. She didn't have a breathing problem. She coughed one time to clear some birth fluid out of her lungs. Right. And they kept us under observation for 72 hours. Um, All the while you're paying for it? Of course. Yeah, the bill was about $15,000. So, mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of um, that was kind of a kick in the rear. Uh, and then afterwards, we had some problems where I actually had a doctor uh, make a fraudulent CPS claim and actually forge paperwork and stuff like that. And I tried to make a complaint about it, but nobody listens. That was also more of a uh, get rich scheme, wasn't it? Kind of yeah. like, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some money off from a product that someone really doesn't need. Yes. He issued two separate pe um, flavors, I don't, forms of paperwork. One that had a bunch of notes on it saying all sorts of bad health care things we were doing wrong with the CPS person. And the copy of the paperwork he gave to us that said she was fine. So um, so that was that was about my last straw with it. Um, was, that, was that to do with the helmet? And is yeah. that all, so it all started with, if I'm right, it all started with the helmet. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, no, I'm not. I started with the cough, but yeah, um, to the helmet. I, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the immunization stuff, and so I kind of balked against that, and they didn't like that either. Um, you know, but, they even got to the point where they, um, the first time we changed doctors, they called CPS on us just for changing doctors, because the doctor we were seeing was all the way in Byron Center from Cedar Springs. So they called CPS on us because we changed doctors and didn't give them enough notice or didn't give who enough notice. So um you know we have I'm done with medical stuff. We're home birth and uh, it's it's the way to go anyways, isn't it? Yeah, we were it, they I so they heard they yeah, got, hey, I'm coming whether you're ready or not. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, um, yeah. So yeah. So there you go. That that's about. So and you know and I and that's kind of what uh, Tatiana explained too is that she was going through immunization. She was with, a and everything was kind of okay. But uh, there was both of you had done some research and you weren't too keen on uh, immunizations. And then come along the helmet. Mm -hmm. You guys wanted to get a uh, second opinion on the helmet, so mm -hmm. you don't need anything. 
uh, and so you chose not to get a helmet, and then that's kind of when the CPS referral came along, mm -hmm. the failure to thrive uh, type referral, if, that's, mm -hmm. if this is sounding correct. Mm -hmm. um, and then you guys... Um, and do you remember when she was born? Yeah, she's, um, well, I guess I had it refreshed today. I, I guess from what Tatiana said, she's 14 ounces. So. And then how, how much, um, seven, two. I, and I, were they all about the same length as right They're now? all the same size. They're the same. They're, they're, Born to oh yeah twenty one inches like we're all the same yeah and then like exactly the same mm -hmm. wow what's the odds of that yeah and she was even earlier too that's why I just didn't it never you know bothered me too much that she was skinny because she was she came out yeah yeah so so you. Skinny. When did it first? When did it like dawn on you that she's thin? Oh, just when she came out. I she's mean, she been came, thin. Yeah. But now, um, Tatiana was it? Was she going to labor? She had just been up pacing around all night, and then baby started sliding out. And things are a lot easier when you do them at home. I'll tell you what. Well, yeah, you don't have to drive anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and and the position they put you in in the hospital is very. Bad medicine, just whatever. What position are you at home? And you just stand up. Do you really? Yeah, and the gravity just shoots the baby right now. You don't, you, they don't have you up, facing upward, pushing against the gravity. It makes no sense. Um, no, it actually wouldn't make sense if you think about it. it yeah. I'd, Never seen it. So you, you have to just kind of be under there, like you're, you're like the quarterback. Mm hmm. And um, on that day, yeah, she she got up there. She got up there. Um, uh, you know, she was late for the delivery. She checked over the baby, says she's healthy. And, you know. Is that what she do, does? A midwife, they kind of tie off their tubes or whatever it is they have to do, and they just they <laughs> yes. They do the dirty work that anybody could do. It's just a lot of us aren't. Do it. Not, yeah, <laughs> a lot of us just aren't willing to do it. But yeah, really, what they? I mean, they, you know, they mop up the blood and yeah, you know, they go over like you know your check sheet of check this to see if the baby's healthy. You know. Yeah, yeah. So. And then do do they do all the recording of birth, or is that something you guys do, or? I, I, I think ish. Yeah, it seems like they would. My, my wife kind of deals with more of the paperwork. paperwork. Yeah, <laughs> so. so you said that, so you weren't concerned about her, about her being skinny? I get comments that she's bigger than some six-year-old boys now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, same size, skinny, but she, it just took a while, and then after, like, you know, after, I think it was about ten months to a year, she started really putting on weight, and, you know, now she's, you saw her. Yep, yep. And and she she didn't need a helmet. Her head looks just fine. Yeah. So, um, what was um, Tatiana working? No. So, so Tatiana was home... And she did all the feedings, yeah. right, right from the source. Right. Um, if if Tatiana went to Meyer, yes, and that was in case she needed to latch on, yeah, type thing, yeah, yeah. So, because with the other two, Tatiana would leave a food source at home because she was working some. Um, oh yeah, when she would go to um, the farmer's market for farm produce business. Um, but last year, which is last year, so we did that, she took both kids with her pretty much every time. Okay. Where I can go 
the market anymore. So I stayed yeah, home. home work on the farm. Yeah. So, um, so feeding the children has never been a real part of your responsibility. Well, but I've been like I've been feeding like her her dinner. Uh, you know, I feed her tons of solid food. I feed her three or four of those, you know, those Gerber cups. Uh, yep. And she just wolf them right down, no problem. Were, were you were you guys buying solid food or making solid food? Both. Okay. What what were you making? If we made anything, it was just like sweet potatoes grinded up and yeah, yeah. She made the baby. Yeah. Food, so. Yeah. So what she what she was saying is um, what she could recall is is uh, like some vegetables out of your garden. Oh, yeah. Maybe whatever it was you had growing at that time. Yeah. And then she'd throw something in it, maybe breast milk, to make the vegetables more pal pal palatable. Whatever that word is. Helpful. Yeah. And then she would make like a little fruit smoothie, maybe some blueberries, some, some non yeah. like that. And then she did say that potatoes and stuff like mm -hmm. that. When did you when did you guys start with her on solid foods? It's been a couple months now. Um since the beginning of summer. Okay. Okay. I would I would wanna say maybe since since April, because that's when Tatiana started working at her job. So basically, we were only going to let her was eating solid foods. Yeah, just fine. Yeah, yeah. So I, th I would say April. Okay. And then that was supplementing nursing mm -hmm. with solids. Mm -hmm. Has has nursing has solids ever completely taken over? Is nursing was nursing still? Okay? She still nurses. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. So what would you say was her primary, a nursing or the solids? Or, or, we, or we can't say that? I can't scientifically say. I'd say I'd probably at this point we were really working on trying to make it more solid food only, especially because my wife's pregnant again. So um, you know how that all works. Um, I do know how that works. Right. So, <laughs> so you know, we're trying to um, get her Check. over to just be on solid. Yeah. So... You're you're more familiar with this than me with having younger kids. Typically, at what age is it that they switch over to solids? Um, do you remember? Nope. Nope, me neither. Uh, do you remember? We don't. Yeah. I right. thought it was when they started teething, but I'll bet you all of our wives know. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're supposed. I, I think you're you're supposed to transition it in starting at like, oh, starting at six months. You're supposed to transition it in, and then by two years old. The kids are supposed to be okay. All right, off the teeth. Off the teeth. So, um, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Tatiana. I'm sorry. I'm, no worries. That, that's my mistake. Tatiana would work, and, and when she started working, she started with fewer hours. She started working mm -hmm. four hour shifts. I think it was. Yeah, like three, four days a week. Yeah. And then she moved up to now she's working full, basically full time. Was it like three, oh, three to three to eleven? Three to yeah. 11, okay. When did that begin? You remember about when ish? July fourth. Okay. So starting July fourth, did more of the responsibilities of yeah, I guess so. So from three p.m. Because I know, obviously, when uh, Tatiana was there, and she she would nurse her, uh, did she leave you bottles of breast milk to nurse her, or did you no. not nurse? No, we just had, uh, that's when I would give her solid food. Okay. So, well, she would leave work 2.30-ish, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. and how many times? Um, but what the normal schedule is, is Tatiana puts baby down at 2.30. I've got some time to, like, kind of let my brain simmer down because work get up and work in the morning. Yeah. So I let my brain have some time to simmer down. Kids have quiet time. And then they're up again by, like, 4.35. And then I'm up with. Feed her two of the cups, take her out for a half hour, walk around so the food settles, and then come back and feed her the rest, and then take her outside for like an hour, hour and a half, mm -hmm. then bring her back and, and put her back down. 
So the dinner time as far as Yeah, it, it was nothing too, we're not too, um, you know, regulated. We're not too right. uh, to uptight, but, um, yeah, generally, you know, she would get up, let's just say general timing, it'd be up again, you know, 4.30 to 5. Um, you know, she'd eat 5.30, be back in bed by like 6.30. Okay. And then, uh, she'd be back in bed at 6.30, and then when was the next feeding? Um, a, lot, a lot of times I think that's probably my wife breastfeeds her at night. Oh, when so, she get home from work? Yeah, okay. so I, I wouldn't really know about that. Because um, you'd usually be in bed by then? Yeah. So, um, Early mornings on the farm? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so my wife, my wife might breastfeed her in the middle of the night, um, you know, or, you know, breakfast time when she gets up again. So typically speaking, that that dinner meal would be the, because then she would sleep till your wife got home, and so that would be the, your, the last, so you have to just feed her really. Once. Once. Yeah. yeah. Or, or if she wanted to goof off a little bit before feeding, you might split that once up into twice. So at, at what point um, did you guys become concerned about her weight? Um, okay, so it's always kind of, it's, it's always kind of been there, it's always been something that we've watched. Um, however, it never, sh I'll say it never seemed to cause because it never, it never did, um, but I just know you guys are watching my words, so, um, <laughs> it never caused her, let's put it this way, she never was sickly in any way, mm -hmm. slow, lethargic, um, no, no, no health indicators right. that said anything was wrong other than that she was skinny, which I just, I, re I didn't, I, I just didn't let it get to me, um, because like I said, very skinny, um, she started putting on weight recently, we really started really, you know, pounding the, uh, the solid food down in the last, like, month or so, really making sure she gets some chicken, potatoes, cheese, stuff like Um, so and when, when you started putting the, the high proteins, how, how recently was that? A month or two. Okay. And because um, that's what Tatiana said is that a, a, probably the last month or two is when you guys actually became a little concerned about the weight. Yeah, and but I kind of was like, because my mom's always been honest about it. Um, always. She's always like, get get some food in this kid. Yeah, she always like, yeah, what are you, are you guys feeding her? Come on, go look at the garbage. I mean, it's like, I can't feed the kid enough. Right. Uh, she just, um... When was the last time your mom was on you about it? But that's no, no, here's doing. the thing. Here, exactly, here's the thing. The last time my mom said something about it, she said that she... Oh, okay. So that's why I was... So you thought you were in the right direction. When was that? Last week. Last week, Sunday. Not this last Sunday, the one before that. Yes. Okay. And you were at your mom's, or she was at your place. She was at our house. And she thought that she was she was gaining weight. She no, she remarked that her cheeks seemed a lot fuller. Okay. I don't remember that specifically. So. so so a month or two ago, you two became concerned and started putting some proteins to her, some chickens and cheeses and whatever, just just trying to bulk her up a little mm -hmm. bit. And and did you believe it was starting to work? I seemed to definitely notice that she was getting heavier. Um, Tatiana mentioned it to me. My mom mentioned it to me, so I would say yes. So Tatiana thought she was she was getting healthier too and that she was getting bigger? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because um, she's always been growing long. She's just never put the meat, like that's the, she's yeah. never put the meat on. Right, right, yeah. So Tatiana, I was correcting if this is wrong, Tatiana said that, and, and it's kind of what you said, but especially about the last month, you guys became concerned that you started uh, very um, consistently and um, regularly. regularly, heartily praying over, Lord, help her gain weight. What, does that sound right? I get, I, you know, I don't, um, she may have. I haven't really been so much, okay. um, but I'm glad to hear she was. Yep, yep. Um, so, you guys, you, you, when she started losing her weight, 
thought maybe it was just a growing spurt and, and she had lost weight and so she was getting and um, is that what is that what you attributed her her uh, I'm sorry not the weight loss the sleeping to a uh, growth spurt is that what oh, you attributed yeah. it to? Oh, that yeah. Honest, I think maybe three times in the last week where she slept so long I had to like nudge Tatiana and make some jokes now that I'm yeah I don't you know um, but you don't really think no. too much of it at the time uh, mm -hmm. um, so uh, sorry no, that's, um, all right. that's all right so yeah, there's been a couple. There's been a couple mornings where, then, uh, where she was, she had been sleeping for 15, 16 hours straight, and you know, Tati just went and woke her up. She woke right up. Oh, look who's a hungry baby, kind of thing. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so today when it happened, I didn't really think anything all that differently. I just thought it was like, oh, another sleepy baby. You know, she was, especially you know, my wife like keeps her up all morning, so she's just exhausted sometimes by the time she goes to bed and you know if, if she doesn't if she doesn't make a peep if she doesn't make a sound or if she's if she's in there and you know everything as far as I know everything is fine when she's put down I mean I'm not inclined to wake the kid up right sure um but what, so do, I, do you bathe uh, did you ever bathe her? I didn't know do you ever change your diaper oh yeah when was the last time they figured you changed? It might have been yesterday morning. Because I'm saying, I'd imagine when Tatiana goes to work from, from leaves at 2.30. Oh, usually when she gets up to eat, I would change her diapers. And you got daddy duty, you uh -huh. would change her diapers and stuff. Yeah. But Seth, here's the thing, is that She's so tiny. Was it? Was there never a time that you just like, well, there's something really wrong? There was never a time where I thought there was something really wrong. Um, I did say to Tatiana, you know, hey, um, you know, with her being the age she is, let's really try to see if, like, the protein, um, the, the fat and the protein it, as her digestive system is developed, let's see if that kicks things into gear, and if not, you know, let's go see a doctor. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, she's 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 a skinny little girl. When did you have that conversation? I don't know, two weeks ago. Yeah, because even at that point I was just a little, yeah, you know. You probably sure. gonna hurt. So how much, uh, two weeks ago, how much did you figure that she weighed? I don't know. Well, I know she's the same size now, smaller, bigger. I don't know. Okay. Um. So so today. Tell me about today. I know it's tough. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, well, I just kind of like woke up like a regular day. I wasn't feeling very well last night. Um, so I kind of, I, I slept in because I didn't sleep very well. Um, Um, I, I think I rolled out of bed like 8 to 8.30, took care of some chores, uh, and then I laid back down, um, and then my wife told me she was uh, going to go right up the street to the neighbor's house to go get some kids, uh, and when she came back, I woke up, and then I guess she decided, you know, So that's that. So, did, so did, what did you do when she told you that? I, I split out of bed and raced to the room. And, you know, so you're helpless, bed. right? Like, what do you know what to do? What am I gonna do? Yeah. I could, I, I could, I could tell she was dead from looking at her. Um, but Tatiana couldn't. She's a mom. Right. She's so. Yep. Um, I'm used to dealing with a lot of dead bodies, but the farm. Yeah. So I know what they look like. Um, that was that. So what did Tatiana do? She tried to do CPR. Right. So were you? Sorry. Were you in there when she 
was doing were you in the same room with her when she was trying CPR? Yeah, I, I, yeah. And then what were you doing? She's the one who knows how to do all that kind of stuff. Right. So I was just I was looking and watching and um, just thinking about what to do, thinking about you know just trying to think about what to do next. So what did you do next? Call my dad. Okay, and then what did you tell your dad? Um, I don't know what to do. What did he say? Well, I, I kind of figured I was supposed to call the police. Um, I just, I, I don't know. I don't have any experience with it now. Sure, sure. Um, well, right. I didn't then. I do now. Right. Um, so I, I just called him and, you know, said, hey, hey, should I, should I call the police or, or what? I don't, I don't know how this works. Um, and he said, yeah, um, you know, we'll be on the way. Um, you know, call them when, when we get there kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, it had been about an hour and some change, and I was starting to get impatient because I did not want to... I know I know how it looks when people wait to make a police call, so I, so, you know, I just... Mm -hmm. So you called prior to... So I, so I got impatient, and I called them, and I went, are you, are you guys here yet? Because it's, you know, it's like 11.05 now, and I don't want to... I don't. I knew that was going to be a process too, so yeah. I wanted to get things going. Yeah. And um, yeah, they were in Cedar uh, at the gas station, and um, they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be there. And so on. then I called you guys. So, um, yeah, because obviously you, you're an intelligent man, so you know, obviously for us, and you just said it yourself, it looks weird, right? That, but you, I, I'm saying you didn't know what you're doing, but. In our world, we deal with this a lot because we don't know every single person in the county and everyone's personalities. Sure. And, sure. Um, and I would have, I wanted to just like call you guys first, but not, I, I was following my legal advice. So yeah. yeah. I'm sorry if that is a problem at all. I nope. just uh, just doing what the lawyer told me to do. No. Nope. And well, here's the thing. I'm not saying. So. I'm just telling you. I'm just confirming what you said. It looks weird. You know. Is that is, is that's all? We're not like saying that. You did something horrible in those two hours. We're just saying that you, you know, it's not the, it's not the norm. So, sure. um, so what did you guys do during the two hours? We sat there and cried. Yeah. Tatiana called it her job. Yeah. We knew guests were coming. Did you clean anything up? Yeah, we cleaned up the house a little bit. Um, Why was that? This is a mess. Uh, I knew we were gonna have my parents over. <laughs> <laughs> um. So oh, my mom getting after you, yeah. After so help? um, yeah. So you know we like. So what all, what all the house cleaning entail? Um, wiping up the counter and sweeping the floor. Okay. How'd the kids handle it? They don't really get it. The, um, mm -hmm. they don't really get it. Mm -hmm. So. But so here's the thing. Looking back. She can't even weigh eight pounds right now. She only she only eight pounds. Okay. I don't know she weighs six pounds. Is it, is it, I mean, she's tiny. W was that never an alarm for you? Was it never an alarm? Like, man, she's not where she needs to be. This is. I mean, I can see all of her bones. Mhm. Mm well, what I just told you is what I just told you in regards to that matter. Um. I, um, so yes, there was, which is what I told you. I also generally, um, I don't, um, I don't trust the medical system so much as other people. So when it says, oh, it, it needs to be this, this, the other, like I said, you know, I had a doctor tell me was mutant and needed a head shaping helmet. Uh, I was told that she was underway, um, fraudulently. I, I just, I know how they work, and I know they're they're in business, um, and th that healthy people don't make them any money. Um, so. So that that kind of skewed your. Yeah, it skew it skew the way it does. It changes the way that we do things a lot differently than most other people. Um, but looking at your daughter, looking back. You as a parent, as a father, didn't you have any concern for her looking at her? Yes, I did. 
but you just didn't think it was concerned that the medical field could fix? One, uh, I would say somewhat. Two, uh, um, I was kind of more in that I have never encountered a health problem where basically if you don't do the right things and be patient that it works itself out, um, especially with the kids. Um, I get as we get older, there's, there's other things. Um, I was not happy about how thin she was, but I also, I also, you know, have the belief that, um, you know, God didn't make us all, you know. The same. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of chalked it up to that. I was not, I was not happy about how skinny she was. You just like, if you look in the house, um, you can see all the baby food that's potatoes with chicken and cheese and all, all everything matches up with what I'm saying. Um, I guess I. Did your she was always very healthy. She was never sick. She answered that way. So. Yeah, so it, so it never, if she had been sickly in any way, it, it would have been, okay, that's it. She's sickly and skinny, but she was always just skinny. But, but Seth, that, that's where I'm going to disagree with you, okay? I, I'm a parent. I'm a father. I have three children. Mm -hmm. He's a father. You're a father, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm just being honest with you, okay? Because I don't know how to be anything other than... Okay, and I'm telling you right now, I've been doing this job for a long time. Okay, and he'll tell you when I walked in that bedroom today, all right, I started crying. Okay, I looked at that little baby, and I looked at her for a millisecond, mm -hmm. and I knew that she wasn't right. And I knew that she wasn't right for some time. Okay, and you're her father. Yes. And I'll tell you, I, I saw her when she was dead, too. Just, she, was very, she was much more gaunt when she was dead than she ever was when she was alive. I mean, I got, I got pictures on my phone. I, I, I'm... Yeah. Right, but, but when, let me ask you this. When's the last time you saw that baby without any clothes on in a bath? Me? I, I've, never, I've never given her a bath. Okay, when, what, so, but you, you changed her diaper mm -hmm. maybe a day, day and a half ago. Correct? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm not putting words in your mouth. You said that, correct? Mm -hmm. How did you not, when you looked at her a day and a half ago changing her diaper and realize that my daughter is skin and bone? When I looked at her belly in the house, okay, and I'm not exaggerating this. Oh, uh, I know. I could see the outline of her intestines through her stomach. I could see her spine completely through her back. I could see every one of her ribs through her chest. Yeah, I, like I said, I mean, like I, I, like I said, I'm not happy about it either. Um, you know, you're welcome to go through my garbage and look at the baby food containers. Yeah. and. I, I, Seth, did you, here's the thing. I, I'm certainly not knocking on his faith. I, I have the same faith and the same creator that you have. Does your faith prevent you from allowing you to use medical services? No. So you would use medical services, or you would not? So it's some, just, just your experience that prevents you, not your faith. No, in some ways, like for example, on the immunization, it started out um, with a rational concern. Um, but yeah, faith-based, I, I, you know, you'd have to strap us down to a table and put it in there. Okay. Does that apply to your children too? Yes. Okay. So you wouldn't do. Would I do anything different? Oh yeah, I totally would. I I, I would have listened to my elders. And I would have taken her to go see a doctor. Because that's what your parents were telling you. You said el. You said your elders. Yeah, you know, older people would say, oh, you know, she's, you know, like yeah. what you guys are saying. Yeah. So um. How far so back? How far back would you go when you would do something different? How far back would I go that I would do something different? When would you have taken her? When would I have taken her? Know, knowing what you know today. Knowing what I know today, I would probably... I'd probably take all the kids to the doctor, at least for preliminary stuff. No, and I'm talking about... Looking back, was, was it a week ago? Was it two weeks ago? Was it three weeks ago? Was it a month ago? When, when would you have done something different when you, I mean, you, you know, this didn't happen overnight. 
she didn't get this malnourished and skinny overnight, okay? This is a, a, a lengthy process, mm -hmm. okay? And this has been going on for some time. That's what I'm asking. At what point, you knowing what you know today, if you could go back and reset the clock to try to prevent today, how far back do you think you would go? Um, I don't know because I, I, I can't tell you. Um, you know, maybe, maybe the first mention somebody had that I respected that she was too skinny. That she was too How thin. long ago was that? I don't know. Like I said, she's been skinny since she was born. So what, how many, how many people that you respected have told you that? My mom and... My mom. <laughs> How was your dad? You probably figured dad's just back in your mom's play? Pretty much. Yeah. So, today, at what point today did you and or Tatiana think, this doesn't look good? The size of her, all of this doesn't look good. Today? Yeah. Well, we didn't, we kind of like woke up and she was dead, so. No, but I mean after that, when you were thinking that this is like, for, as far as it doesn't look good that, that we didn't get her the medical treatment or whatever, what, at what point today did you think that? Um, I don't know, I guess I haven't, I, I guess I haven't really worried about it too much. Did, 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 did mom feel concerned because of, she knew the weight was so low, or what was your what was your discussion like with her about that? Yeah, she just mentioned that she's skinny. Okay. But what you know, the thing is, is that it it's like yeah, she was skinny, but that would be like the only thing. It's it's, it's like okay, if she's not skinny, then she'd be fat. And it's just like, you know, everybody's always got something to nitpick about a baby kind of thing. No, and you're right about that. But, but Seth, there is a difference. And I have pictures. There is a difference between Seth and Mary. No, I know. She was, she was thin. You, it no, used to, no, no. wasn't thin. Yes, yeah, so I know. I picked her up. I know how skinny she was. It used to hurt. I used to... I, I, what, what am I going to do? Like inject her with liposuction? And that, what are the doctors going to do? But... but, but Cause here's the thing. There's more. You know. You know what the leading cause of death in this country is, don't you? Well, yeah, it's medical malpractice. It is. I, I'll give you that. It's more dangerous. <laughs> it's more dangerous to take your kid to the doctor than only. That's not what most people think. Most people I think it's know. cops. But I, I get what you're saying. So there you go. We got. No, no, I get what you're saying because there's there's some stats that go along with some of this. But here's what I'm saying though: is on this case, when we know, because you get. I know you guys are doing what you're saying you're doing. I know you're feeding them. You're feeding them protein. We can see it. We're not down either. We can look around the house like, these guys are piling food in this girl. So when that's not working, then we know there's something. There's Crohn's disease. There's diabetes. There, there is a disease that has to be that's not allowing this girl to absorb the nutrients for these foods. And you know that. Yeah, you're correct. I do know that. I guess I just never, I never thought of it. Where there's no family history um, like I said, recently, um, regardless of, of what the pictures show, you know, people who've know who've been around her for ten months, you know, commented. We all noticed that she was getting bigger. So I was just like, oh, finally, okay, we're through that pro, we're through that stage. Uh, I was worried for a little bit there, but she's putting on the weight now. Um, you know, she's she's clearly getting heavier. Um, so I, I just, I kind of thought we were through it. Let me ask you a, a, an, honest, just an honest answer. Do you, re, do you feel responsible in any way for what happened today? I feel like that's a bit of a trap question, but... Um, no, I, 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 or, or do you just say honest? Or do you think it's just God's will? Well, just because it might be God's will doesn't mean that there's not some, that it's not his will according to our actions. 
or it doesn't mean that we're not responsible in some way for what has come about. And so do I, I take responsibility on myself for anything that goes wrong in my life at all. Even if it's totally not my fault, I still, what could I have done? Um, you know, I'm sure you had something like that in Marine Corps, you know, where it's just like, not, you're not always in control of everything, but take care of what's on your end to be taken care of. Yeah. And you got to watch your six. Yeah. So, um, you know, for me, do, do I take some responsibility? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll never forget it. And uh, <laughs> I thought there will be like 30 minutes where if Tatiana carries this baby to term and you guys let us keep it, I doubt there will be 30 minutes where there's not somebody checking through the people with a light on in the room. That, how did that hole get in the door again? About five years ago when I styled myself a patriot and a gun nut and all that good stuff, all that cool right wing stuff, I uh, was working on my AK and the gas tube. I was a total idiot and like the gas tube was stuck and I was trying to bang it in there and I went and the hammer flew out the back of my hand right into the door. Hey, if the AK don't work, get a hammer. <laughs> well, why is Tatiana saying she put the hole in the door? That's what I'm confused about. Because it's because she went through a lot when she was a kid. Her her memory can sometimes be a little, a little about details and stuff like that. So I don't know why she would. I don't know why she'd say that. Well, we're gonna get you guys out of here in a second, but. I have a difficult question to ask you because, I, and, I, and I'm asking this, and maybe it was asked, but I know I'm going to have, I know I'm going to be asked this question in the morning. So, have you or Tatiana or your mother, your your mother and father, back at the house? Did anybody talk about funeral arrangements? What funeral home you would like her to go to? Or, uh, yeah, we've kind of touch and go dealt with it. Okay. Um. Something you guys gotta start thinking about. Yeah, I, um, I think I can't just like bury her under an apple tree or something like that. No. You have to ask. We don't know all the rules of burying and stuff. There, I don't know. Maybe you can get a permit to do something like that. Yeah, or you gotta Google it, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> no idea. But you can't just bury her under like without getting some kind of process, as far as we know. So. Yeah, um, my mom said she would just. She knows people, so she do it. The other difficult thing here is, and I know you're not going to be happy with it, okay, but I need to um, collect your phone as evidence as part of this investigation, sure. okay? Um, one of the things, um, is there a passcode on your phone? No? Okay. There's two ways that I can go about getting into your phone. Okay, I have a form either in here, and if I don't, I can run down the hall and get one. There you go. Okay. No, I, I wasn't doubting you. There, but there's two ways. Um, we have a lab here in Grand Rapids that we bring these phones to when they get processed. Basically, what they do is they make an image of the hard drive on your phone, and um, and then we can return the phone back. Okay. But in order for me to go through your phone, it's not like I'm going to walk out of here and go back to my desk and start looking at everything on your phone, because I can't do that. Unless you do one of two things. There, there, there's two ways that I can do that. I have a consent form that I will allow you to read and sign if you would like to provide me with consent to go through your phone, or I can petition the court for a search warrant to, to go through your phone. It's up to you. So, to do the consent form? Okay. Can I like, just go through my messages? and clear everybody up? No, it's got to stay the way it is. Okay. Um, let me see if I have that form. And then as soon as I get your phone back from the lab, I'll try and get it over to the lab tomorrow. And if I can get your phone back to you by the end of the day tomorrow, I will. Okay. Otherwise, um, I'll get it to you as soon as I can. Or are you just going to like bring it to the house or something? I'll run it to the house. Um, okay. Or if you have another, like, you probably don't have another phone number for me to call you at. Um, Seth, remind me, what was your middle name again? Michael.
birthday. take a minute and just read that form and then uh, if you're okay with that just sign it right there when you're done reading it. Something I'm going to do in your presence. See just so you know that she's not she didn't look emaciated you does she? Not in that picture yeah. no. Um, I'm going to put your phone in airplane mode in your presence. Okay. That way nothing else can come into the phone while we have it and nothing can go out obviously. So, um, You know what, what this is, an iPhone what? It's an 8 or 6, maybe 5. Alright, right, give me 5 minutes. And uh, we're going to get you and Tatiana right home, okay? Great, thanks. Mm -hmm.
chest. Why don't you come down here? Because I was supposed to get off. <laughs>